Today, family, friends, fans, and people from around the music industry will come together to honor Migos rapper and Lawrenceville native Takeoff. The 28-year-old celebration of life comes a week after he was shot and killed in Houston, Texas. And as of this morning, investigators are still searching for his killer. Takeoff, whose real name is Kirstick Ball, grew up in Metro Atlanta. And in just a few hours, the city will come out in a huge way to pay their final respects to the music icon who so many looked up to. Liza Lucas is in studio with new details on today's event. This will really show us the impact that he's had. That's right. This is so personal for so much of Atlanta. And we're expecting today's event to be packed since all tickets have been claimed and have been claimed for days. The service set to start at noon and community leaders tell me that they hope today will be a chance to not only mourn together, but come together in the wake of a tragic loss. Losing takeoff for our community, the hip hop community uh, in general, is like losing a family member. You know, one of the family members that was up when he came to the party was always cool, laid back, funny guy. Beloved right there, Leonard Dungy leads the Hope Hustlers, an anti-violence group here in Atlanta. The group, one of four chosen to get funding from a foundation created in Takeoff's memory. Meanwhile, all week fans have been paying tribute to the local star, visiting a mural along the Beltline's East Side Trail, and also sharing and writing condolences at a life-size car placed near Centennial Olympic Park. That card set to be given to the family. Again, all tickets have been claimed for Takeoff Celebration of Life, State Farm Arena, tweeting that no gifts or art are allowed to be brought inside or left near the venue. And because this is expected to be such a packed event, if you don't have tickets, it's advised not to come downtown. Liza, thank you.